it reminded me of, of my military experiences. I was just thunderstruck. They were coming in, it was like an invasion. One of the first images I came across was a picture of a tank, an army tank on the streets of Detroit. The National Guard was called in and there were literally army soldiers on the streets of a great American city. What I remember most distinctly would be lying in bed and hearing tanks rumbling up and down 12th Street and really asking myself, is this our country? There were two military components. The, the National Guard was called in, but then in addition to back them up, two combat units were also deployed, the 82nd Airborne and the 101st many of whom had served in Vietnam. I was a Korean veteran. This was the same thing happening here in, in the city that my parents grew up in. It, it, it was really disturbing. Some of the soldiers were so inexperienced that they contributed to the problem by shooting innocent civilians. The first time I heard a gunshot, there was a young person who came to a window a police officer says, sniper, sniper, and they started shooting at the damn window. Man, these guys don't bullshit, see. <laughs> they, they've been to the war. This was the biggest rebellion in American history. In Hollywood, in the day and age of spandex and superheroes, the reality in which we live can only be defined and shown to us by telling true stories. It's a war zone out there. They're destroying the city. Police! I'm just gonna assume you're all criminals. I need you to survive the night. <laughs>